Thank you. Chris Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacumpo said, people don't know how much Chris has sacrificed for this team to be great. He could easily be a 25 point per game scorer in the league, but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? Well, he's an all-star teammate, David, as you point out in that story. Thank you. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Joel Embiid. And he's fallen out of favor a little bit in their offense, at least compared to how he was being used earlier in the season. His usage percentage is down over the past five games. Maybe he'll be more involved here tonight. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. At the guard position, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for Philadelphia, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. And it's Russell in at the point guard position. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. And these teams, both among the league's better defenses, Brent, with advanced stats and tracking, is it getting easier to measure and quantify what goes into great defense? The simple answer, Kevin, is no. <laughs> We're still having an amazing, immense amount of problem trying to statistically measure what is happening defensively. But we know how you can impact offenses with the way you play defense. The measuring metrics on individuals still are probably three or four years away from understanding that the way we could. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ballgame. Russell pitch to MB. Down low. Green against Middleton. Six to shoot. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. And that one's good. Russell. That's nice coordination as Russell seemed to know that he was going to get around the defense. Pass to Giannis. The kick out to Holiday. Back to Giannis. Kumbo setting the pick for Middleton. Over Harris. Middleton can't get it to go. His touch from mid-range, and that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Russell with a terrific move in the basket. Again, Russell able to dance behind the screen, and once he's able to set you up like that, it's over. Harris against Giannis. Here's Lopez, and the dunk by Lopez. The rest of the D can be stretched a little thin when the double teams in place like that. Pass to Harris. With the drive, Lopez with the block. 
that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame, a smart block, if you will. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Russell looking it over. But three. Harris misses. Bucks have gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's Yuck. Rebound by the 76ers. This game against Milwaukee here. It's their first look at the Bucks. And in this matchup, last season, not one of the games went their way. Milwaukee in the lead. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while, but he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. Russell passes to Embiid. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. The defense better make sure they're sticking to all four other players or else D'Angelo's going to find the open man. Got us a screen on Russell. Holiday, first shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Passes it to Embiid. Over Lopez, and Embiid gets it to go. And with an expanding skill set, Embiid is able to hit shots from all over the court. Outside, on the Kubo. And Middleton kicks to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley and slams. Well, that's a nice toss up there, so you gotta like the timing. But of course, that's Giannis. He's gonna grab anything. Curry against DiVincenzo. Curry passes to Russell. Shoots. Misses off the right iron. For Milwaukee, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Lopez, a screen on green. Embiid against Middleton. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by Embiid. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Here's Giannis. His offensive numbers jump right off the screen and he was averaging over 29 points a game. Right block shot and Middleton the bucket on the assist by Holiday. Middleton's got five. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. Russell kicks to Green. To the left side wing. Embiid against Lopez. Embiid no good. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. The shot by Holiday, no good. Philadelphia's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Outside Russell, and here's Harris from the arc. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Holiday against Russell. The pass to Embiid. Over Holiday. Another miss by Philadelphia. Milwaukee leading by three. Now here's DiVincenzo. No points in the game yet for him. No one to blame on that one but himself. It looks like that. You've got to take advantage. Outside Curry. To Harris to stop the crowd, and he sinks the layup. Tobias carved out a bit of space, owned that real estate, and a nice aggressive finish. Bucks have gone five of twelve from the field since the opening tip. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Middleton's got his third bucket of the night. And that's exactly what he's looking for for training the trip.
G. Steibel comes in for Danny Green. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Get it to go. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to the Wizards in Washington. Allen kicks to Hill. There's the lob at Nakumbo. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. With a break in the action, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a look at this season's stingiest defensive teams. The 76ers, number one. And sometimes a team will get one guy who can block. Other times a guy finds ways to get others involved in blocking. It, it can be contagious. If he can do it, why, why not me? Then all of a sudden you look up and you're leading the lead in block. A nice shot by Harris. Uh, working tirelessly on the stroke, Tobias Harris trying to find consistency with that shot. Here's Nora. This game he had 12. Hill with him. Down to five on the shot clock. Driving the lane. It's hauled in by Harris. 76ers trailing. Pass to Maxi. And here now is Thibel. Here's Harris. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And Joe Allen will bring it up for Milwaukee. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. They could never get on a steady run. They play some solid offense. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. This is it to Harris. Drummond sets the screen for Harris. Milton in the corner. There's three pointers off the mark. Bucks leading by four. Here's Hill. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Maxi passes to Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. Drummond can sit on that weak side block or in front of the rim and just be a tough guy to move out from the lane. He'll get those offensive rebounds. Now here is Hill. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Allen outside. Green by Giannis. Allen passes to Giannis. And 
and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. It's a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. change here. Connaughton's checked in. And how about the numbers here for Drummond? Third in rebounding, fifth in blocks, and he's in the top ten in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And as you said, one of the league's top three rebounders, he has an instinct for how the shot's going to come off that rim. That's special. And the want to to corral it. Philadelphia with the ball, trailing by four. Now, here's Maxi, guarded close. That shot off. Hill with some nice D. Milwaukee's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. Outside Portis. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Hill sets the spin for Portis. And another three for three Milwaukee. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Feeds it to Harris. And he hits the jumper. Well, he's been waiting for that for a while. Harris has got six points. Beautiful in the mid-range there. Sometimes it looks automatic for Tobias Harris. Outside Hill. And he gets it back. Mora can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by five. Here's Milton. Yep, that one goes in there. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. And they get it back. There's Portis. There's the drive, and Portis throws it down. And now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. The pass to Harris. And he banks in the lane. Eight points for Tobias Harris. Yeah, Tobias just going strong that time. Bucks leading by three. Outside Hill. Drummond working against Portis. Aston Mora. Outside Hill. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range. Again, missing Hill. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 well, balls also. Grayson. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. That's his first foul. Six seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Milton. 
Chris Middleton has been on display for the Bucks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be right back after this. Try to be physical with me, try to hit me, um, knock down to the floor. But I just got to keep my composure. I think I have a great teammates that always talk to me and uh, tell me, and stay focused, stay in the game. You know, I know that I'm going to get a lot of contact, and um, I'm just ready for it. And such a fierce competitor, but Giannis knows he can't afford to get into altercations with opponents. No, too important to his team. Sometimes toughness is about keeping your composure even after the tough hits. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. Filling the perimeter slots are Curry and Feibel. Andre Drummond is out there with Joel Embiid. And it's Russell in at the wall. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And the Bucks with possession here. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And the wide open shot from Di Vincenzo. And a miss there on the triple. That's to Russell. Embiid with the screen on Holland. Russell kicks to Embiid. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter, keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure Take a break. on the defense. Take a break. Two shots. Well, free throw drops for Embiid. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer, so you just can't hack away at it. Giannis, he's checked in for Portis. And Embiid drops them both. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Giannis, no good. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that play. Michael can't get it to go. The D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Now oh, here's Giannis. He's got six. Here's Lopez, and a great assist by Adetokounmpo as that one goes in. Adetokounmpo's got three assists now in this one. At the top of the key, MB. Outside, Russell launches it. The 76ers with another miss. Milwaukee leading by four. Now Middleton, who's coming off a 25-point game against Washington. Holiday with it. He's picked up by Drummond. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Embiid is at the elbow. Russell against Holiday. Drummond with a screen on Holiday. Drummond in the post. That shot is off. Good D by Lopez. The Bucs have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. And for old school sitters like Andre Drummond, the modern NBA posing some challenges. He's not quite the floor spacer. Well, he's not, but still on the defensive end, I think, GA, if you have a guy that's that kind of size and that kind of athleticism against certain teams that play another compact big, he becomes a guy to clog up the lane, block shots, and still be a deterrent on the inside. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Drew Holiday has been a welcome addition to this Bucks team. Chris Middleton said he just knows how to play the game on and off the ball. How to move without it, how to set guys up. He makes the game easier for everybody. He's made them a lot better. Chris guys, Middleton. So you make us, David. Thank you with stories like that. That kid, Drew Holiday, he is a quality kid. Wonderful character, terrific play. Here's Curry following the basket by Chris Middleton. That's it, and the Milwaukee leaders get down to just threw in the basket from Russell. Yeah, there's not a lot of spots, at least in the last couple years, that we've seen that Russell is not confident in firing it from. Outside curve. Passes it to Russell. And here now is Thibel. Just five on the clock. From the arc, he can't hit that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. That puts them squarely in the middle of this five-game road trip. It's good. Andre the has got eight points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The drive by Russell. Over Holiday. No good off the back of the rim. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Middleton outside. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Russell against Holiday. Bible, the pass to Kirk. And beat inside. 20 point game for him in the win against New York. And he also controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. Just five to shoot. And beat the screen. And a deep three for Russell. A fresh 14 for Philadelphia. And beat with the screen on Lopez. It's Russell with the drive. And the wide open shot from Green. Hits it from three point range. Green's got his first three points of the game. A good balance and squared up shoulders. If there's one thing Green does better than anything else, it's nailing catch and shoot Jake. There's the lob and the combo. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Take a look at the 76ers. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And checking out Milwaukee two and a half games back. And for Philadelphia, they've been taking no prisoners here in the early part of the season. It's been a very fast start and a lot of focus for this group. Yeah, they're using that F word, focus. A lot of teams suffer from a lack of concentration in the early part of the season, but not this team. They're ready to play right from the opening tip of the very first game. And here's Russell following the three from Brooke Lopez. A fadeaway. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Embiid. And really, Embiid is a threat to score from anywhere. The defense has got to honor him. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And Embiid with the block. Holiday looking over the floor. Knocks it loose. Giannis is double. The Bucks working the ball around. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Brooke Lopez, such a great complimentary player, Greg, fits right in with this team. And he gives you good scoring with great efficiency. Very low turnover numbers. Everything you want from a role player. good from Lopez and bring clearly a lot of games left on the schedule but when do players start taking notice of the standards I feel like all-star break is always the time Kevin where you're looking at things and you're trying to do the math about okay let's see we got 34 games to go we're gonna have to you know be 20 and 14 to get ourselves into this position 
Uh, but usually at the all-star break when guys are away, you take assessment of that, and then you know that second half of run of where you've got to get to in order to be a team competing in the postseason. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here is Harris. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against New York. Ball's not loose. He had thrown by the Jacumbo. Allen outside. On the Jacumbo against Harris. Oh, and on the Jacumbo. Hammers it in. Typically, it takes Giannis one stride to get where he wants to go. And in that one stride, he's covering so much ground, he can't keep up with it. Welcome to Bash to Maxi. Over Holiday. Maxi, no good. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Giannis kicks to Lopez. Giannis is screen on Green. And the foul Seven called on Danny Green. Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. Personal well, Greg, for those of us who have Seven. never played in the league, what's it like travel all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I've going back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. Here's Nora. Ten point lead. This is their big oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. And B the screen. On the wing, Milton. Going inside, over Hill. A shot by Milton, no good. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Harris. For Milwaukee, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. And he makes the first. Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Drops them both. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now here is Harris. Eight points for him. To the paint. Here's Drummond. Oh! And Drummond not wasting an opportunity to throw down another. The rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's the Baston Moore. Here's Hill. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Maxi. to Milton over Allen misses off the left eye you know what he's just stone cold right now really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game Donington passes to Allen Portis is screen on green down low Portis can't get it to go 
the 76ers trail by 12. Right side green. He feeds it to Harris. Pass to Drummond. To the wing right side. Here's Maxi. He can't get that one to fall. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And Hill has it in the corner. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the veteran marksman, George Hill, can still fire it from outside, can he, Brent? Yeah, he's still a guy that understands the game. He has so much experience. He's still capable of knocking down big shots. And coaches still have confidence in him to be out on the floor and make the right play. First free throw is good. Uh, whether George Hill has started, which he's done a lot in his career, or come off the bench, he's a guy that you like in your rotation as a steadying force. Both free throws good from Hill. The 76ers trail by 14. Now, here's Maxi. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. Harris with a head of steam, put his head down, and then put the ball down. Outside Hill. Outside Portis. Here's Connaughton. Guarded by Green. Two on the clock. Allen for the three. It's good from long range. Allen's got five points now in the quarter. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. And Philadelphia calls time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. at the league's best players on the boards. Number one is Joel Embiid. Third is Andre Drummond. Guys, we're lucky to get to watch two of the league's most outstanding rebounders on the same court here today. One and I and left to play in the first half. Passes to Milton. Drummond with a screen on Allen. Here's Milton. Basket made. Just his second. This counts. He's two for seven now. Well, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Hill, no good. Okay. And he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Shooting foul 
As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal one on Hill. And, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Hill kicks to Portis. 26 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Hill with it. He's picked up by Drummond. Four on the clock. Top of the key. Hill, no good. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. Inside, knocked away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Coming up to the ball for your sixer, Matisse Dabo. Here's Hill. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And we finish one half of basketball. The Bucks on top, up 11. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team, stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? Yeah, we keep messing up coverages, you know. I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Greetings, everybody. The story so far revolving around Giannis, the Greek freak, in fine form tonight. Tremendous play down low, controlling the paint. They can't contain him. And if you're the coach, don't try to outsmart yourself. Keep going to him in the second half. No reason to change things up until someone stops it. All right, now we've got some time to take a look at the players of the week. And in the West, Luka Doncic. This isn't the first and it will not be the last one of these awards for Luka Doncic. A master at giving his own shot. The world is creating for others. Simply unstoppable on offense. Also a tremendous rebound in his position. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. The big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. You know, Chris Middleton has really been making it happen, guys. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. And Milwaukee, look at who they've got. Longtime teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forward. At the guard position, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following the three by Milwaukee. Lopez with the block. And they get it back. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Russell. Out of the Kumbo, setting the pick for Holiday. And he comes up with the deuce. Holiday's got his second bucket of the night. 
Greer's got such a great build, 205, 210 pounds, a bigger guard, hard to knock him off of his shot. Now, here is Russell. He's got nine. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Jalil Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Adentacumpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we we'll find a way to come here tonight and give ourselves a chance. Guys, maybe they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. That's team. why Middleton gets the respect from the teammates the here. The adept at getting to the free throw line and attacking the inside. And Chris Middleton, the longtime Buck, he's been with the team through it all. Shooting two. And where I give Chris Middleton the most credit, GA, is the fact that after he signed that long-term big money deal and did not have a great season, it did not deter him from getting to this level because he knew he was worth it and he knew he had the talent. So Chris Middleton deserves what he's gotten in the last couple of seasons, especially the way he's played in the postseason. Good on the second free throw. And last season, Middleton adding to his game. Played more of a playmaking role. Great assist numbers for him. Embiid with a screen on Hubbard. Russell, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And for Middleton, he's not the primary ball. But Greg, he can fill in from time to time. And capable of playing the point forward if needed. Make, just make smart, simple plays. Great option to initiate the offense to kind of give you a different look. He throw good, Russell. Been a bit of a hectic start to D'Angelo Russell's career. Went second overall in the draft and then traded in his second season. Became an all-star in the Eastern Conference and now just wants to find that kind of consistency and a place to call home. And so Russell hits them both. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. On the wing, Holiday. Holiday by Green and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And with Drew Holiday in his defense, Brent, he lets this team get away with things they normally couldn't. Well, Kevin, the one thing that's really great about Drew being able to be switchable in that way is how much more confidence he gives every other defender that's on the floor with him. He Take takes the toughest guy on offense, and he shuts him down. And he knocks down the first one. And Holiday just does so much on the floor. But for me, defense is his number one attribute. He's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. He's perfect from the line this time. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing deep with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. Hustle with him. He's picked up by Lopez. He blocks it again! A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And watching former Villanova star Dante DiVincenzo, he plays with such energy. Well, I think Coach Budenholzer did a really good job with Dante in telling him the way that you're going to get on the floor is to be active on defense. And once you do that and you start earning minutes, the offense will come. And that's how Dante has gained this kind of confidence. One shot. Oh, 
DiVincenzo, I think, is starting to take a lot of pride in the fact that he can do a lot of little things for the basketball team that add up. He scores, he gets some rebounds, he gets some assists. He's a weapon. Now, here is Russell. He's got 11. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Even Genzo against Curry. Russell left side. Five on the clock. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Look now at the NBA scoring leaders. Giannis Antetokounmpo, fourth. And his contribution to his team offensively cannot be understated. He is always leading the way for them with his ability to put up points. Over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Embiid with it. He's got eight. They need this. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton's got four rebounds in this game. Now, DiVincenzo. Now the pass to Middleton. Over Russell. Middleton can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by 21. And here's Russell, 11 points in the game. Here's MB. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second. And we know how good MB is at drawing fouls, especially in the painted area. He welcomes. The contact. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two shots. And he makes the first. MV drops them both. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Holiday against Russell. Holiday dishes to Middleton. 
Lopez, a screen on green. Here's Middleton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his that one on MB. And Middleton kept Fourth working and working, did not quit on the play. At the line and that for the forced ball. the defense into a foul. Middleton. These are his third That's and fourth free two. throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for Middleton. Middleton improving his game, improving his confidence, coming back after injury and working to become better. Middleton hits them both. The 76ers trail by 21. Russell passes to Embiid. Over Holiday. The 76ers again can't hit it. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. Pass to DiVincenzo. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Even Genzo's got nine points in the quarter. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. And stolen by DiVincenzo. To the middle. And Giannis gets it to go. Giannis has got 12. And if he's that close, Giannis is going to say good night. He's going to cash that in. Has to Embiid. Will it go? And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. And it's a feel-good night from behind the three-point line, racking up a ton of threes. First free throw is good. And MB drops them both. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Lopez outside. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And that one falls for Middleton. And Philadelphia making a change here. Drummond's checked in. Middleton hits them both. Philadelphia shooting just 34% from the floor. Embiid with a screen on Holiday. Holiday against Russell. Over Holiday. Off the left rim and out. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. To the inside. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Well-rounded effort and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's MB. He's got 12. Yes, that goes in. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. And good that time. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Curry against DiVincenzo. Up top, Russell. Trying 
to break that ice cold streak, and he makes that one. Russell's got six here in this quarter. Well, Russell's such a natural scorer and capable of connecting just about anywhere. Kubo can't get it to go. And for the 76ers, they're shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. Curry against DiVincenzo. Embiid with a screen on DiVincenzo. And it's Russell in the corner. Embiid, the pass to Curry. Lock at six. Embiid with a screen on DiVincenzo. Poked away. Giannis outside. Middleton outside. Fires from deep. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. The shot by Curry, no good. Bucks have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. And the latest wrinkle in Seth Curry's game, creating for others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting the defense commit, then making his move. All part of that maturation process. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Here's Embiid. Not enough on that one as it misses. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Holiday. That shot, no good. Good D by Embiid. Holiday's gone two of five from the floor. Pass to Drummond. Embiid against Lopez. Embiid dishes to Drummond. Embiid with a screen on Holiday. The tray. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. Led to the line for three free throws. That's on Brook Lopez. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. Joel Embiid at the line for three. And he's good on the first of three. Some changes for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibault checked in for Green. Shake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And he's good on the second. Well, the defense has failed to cut off any of these driving lanes, which is why they're resorting to fouling him, and he's hurting them from the charity strike. Makes it, and it continues to shoot well from the line. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. Allen, left side. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got five rebounds tonight. The 76ers shooting a pretty low 34% thus far. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Now, here is Hill. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Max. There's the dish to Embiid. Fades away. And the 76ers tack on two more. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Connaughton. It's back to Hill, out left to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Portis finds Hill. Let's the three fly, nailed from three-point land. Hill's got five now. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. 
Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now, here's Milton. He's got seven. Drummond trying to get himself free. And it's Drummond with the jam. Size and power. Andre Drummond doing a good job of just clearing out and getting those rebounds. And he's got his first chance at the line here. George Niang, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Onto the Kumbos checked in. At the line for one. throw good Drummond well, year after year Andre Drummond has approached what it is that has been a weakness and that's his free throw shooting and he is much improved that's going to allow him to stay on the floor for important minutes Giannis gets to Hill Portis sets the pick for Hill there's the pass to Portis well time pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup he's got nine Nice job of running that pick and roll to perfection. Hill, pretty good at cutting passes through the defense. Maxi passes to Milton. One thirty-two left in the third quarter of the game. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Allen passes to Portis. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Now, here's Maxi. He's guarded by Hill. Now, here's Maxi. Shot clock at five. Niang, no good. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded. Outside Portis. They get it back. And to the Kumbo. And at last they get one to fall. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Maxi passes to Thiper. Here's Drummond. Back to Thibel. It's going by Hill. There's the lob and to the Kumbo. Thibel with the ball. Pass to Niang. Now here's Milton. Oh, good on the three. And so it's Milwaukee ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Back right after this. State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. We've got Reed. Korkmaz is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Niang in at the four spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And now, a look at the upcoming schedule for the 76ers. On Thursday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. Then on Saturday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And you know for that matchup with Denver, even though they should get the win, I, I would expect it to be a bit of a battle. Just because they are favored doesn't mean it's an automatic W. First one falls for him. All right, Greg, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, my goodness. I mean, so many terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what. 
with the Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Ojale to the left wing. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Anadokounmpo kicks to Connaughton. Shot clock at six. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Connaughton. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Reed a screen on Hill. Springer the pass to Reed. Here's Korkmaz. Reed a screen. Driving inside. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Outside Hill. Back to Connaughton. Dishes it to Hill. Looking to end his cold spell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. The length of George Hill can create some problems for some defenders. Sometimes they're forced to foul him. They did there. Taking two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. And with the 2020 class, we saw your teammate, Tim Duncan, get inducted into Basketball's Hall of Fame. Yeah, I loved hearing some of the stories that other players and coaches and competitors had around going up against Tim and the, the reverence, the respect, uh, that they could never rattle him. And it's so cool to hear those stories from the outside, having been a player so fortunate to be on the inside and understand what made him tick, what made him great, uh, and, and just how special he was as a leader for so long for that Spurs organization. Now, here's Thibel. The rebound by the Bucks. Connaughton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's the pick. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Passes it to Nuoro. He can't get that one, so Philadelphia will take it the other way. Bible kicks to Korkmaz. Reed a screen on out of the Kumbo. Down low. And he finishes nicely on the way. Uh, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Outside Hill. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. There's some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case, and, and really the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor, and maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's, That's pretty first, tenacious. First DiVincenzo foul. just Second taking that defense. intense defense and sort of stepping aside. Dante DiVincenzo at the line for two. Shooting two. Throw drops for DiVincenzo. Oh, 
And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", that, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that league guard position. Now, here's DiVincenzo in the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. The 76ers have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one mate. Read the pass to Springer. It's deflected. Here's Connaughton. And there's the pass to Moore. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Here's Springer. Pass to Korkmaz. They set the pick. Tipped away. Pass to Springer. Just five on the clock. No good, unable to end this run. The Bucs have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Connaughton. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by DiVincenzo. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Antetokounmpo. Russell against DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. Harris outside. They get the rebound. Embiid, no good. Embiid's gotten five shots in 13 tries. Lopez outside. Passes it to Connaughton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Embiid inside the line. The 76ers with another miss. Yeah, they show effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Curry's checked in for Kortman. The box also with the sub. Holiday's checked in. They're not having much success at all right now. Kevin, I would shuffle the lineup if, if, if I were their coach a little bit just to try to find something that works. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Here's Connaughton. So the wing on the left. Lopez passes to DiVincenzo. Lopez sets a screen for Holiday. There's the three, and there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got four assists now tonight. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Now here is Harris. Now Thibel. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Russell against Holiday. The pass to Lopez. Sinks that one from the post. Lopez, uh, Lopez down on the inside, getting that soft touch to go. Philadelphia's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. There's Russell with the three. Lopez grabs the board. Lopez has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Pass to Nora. To the paint. Here's Holiday. 
and the layup is good. And it's eight points for Drew Holiday. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. Top of the key, Russell. For a number of seasons, offensive output, Greg, has been on the rise, as we've seen. But last year, it went to a whole different level. I mean, how about two years ago with, with Dallas? They had the greatest offensive season since all the way back in 1973, averaging over 116 points per 100 possessions. Get this, last year, seven teams beat that record. Ibo on the wing, guarded by Holiday. And here's Russell. Six on the shot clock. Now the feed to Embiid. Pass to DiVincenzo. Bucks passing it around. Lopez dishes to Holiday. Lopez sets a screen for Holiday. Back to Lopez. Passes it to Connaughton. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got five rebounds tonight. He kicks to Russell. The pass to Embiid. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on holiday. And how about the poise from Embiid? Gets fouled, but stays with the shot and able to get that one in the air. First free throw is good. And Greg, the league's in a great place for talent. So many incredible players just entering their primes. You excited where the league is right now headed? Oh, my goodness, Kevin. Guys like Devin Booker and Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell. I mean, the list goes on and on. And a lot of these youngsters carrying their teams to great heights. Impressive to watch. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Pass to Nora. It's back to Hill. Pass to Nora. Allen outside. Five to shoot. Lopez sets a screen for Allen. Shoots over Embiid. And the rejection by Embiid. Length plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Here's Connaughton. Lopez kicks to Allen. Back to Lopez. Knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Ball. Just three to shoot. Here's Connaughton. And the Bucks miss again. Philadelphia's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Embiid, the pass to Maxi. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons. And you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch. But it's a long season. And for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Milwaukee has gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Not going to go that time. Good D by MP. Now, here's Maxi. Passes to Embiid. Over to the left wing. Embiid with the screen on Lopez. Here's Maxi. Misses off the left iron. 
Bucks have gone 7 to 15 from the four here in the fourth, right around 46, 47 percent. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bucks. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. And Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. It felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. Now here's Allen following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. And that one's good by Lopez. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Harris up top, Lopez covering. Harris passes to Maxi. Harris outside. Fires for three. Can't connect. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Did a great job executing, move the ball. And uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.